All right, Grand Rising, welcome back. It's Shea Seeking or Shalonda. And this is not your mama's Bible study because we know that this story lies. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and continue in Psalms. <clears throat> So it said, O kings and rulers of the earth, kings of the earth, ye are gods, right? Kings of the earth. Now it doesn't say queens of the earth, right? Because the high priestesses or the queens or empresses, right? Some of the queens, right? Again, some of them are um, ratchet, right? Right? But that means that whatever they're doing, they don't really have any powers over someone like me. Even though they send this energy. And I use my energy for good and for truth. Righteousness, balance. justice for the people that don't have a voice not the ones that have already got all their bricks stacked up that are going to be falling because of their wicked ways kings and rulers of the earth. So kings of the earth are going to be the kings of the earth. The ones that can't take the fact that possibly God or even the Messiah is a feminine energy. Or a portion of it, right? Because when I look at Yeshua Christ's energy, again, they exalted the Yeshua and got rid of the Christ. So who does the Christ run to? Wisdom, the mother, the Ruach, that energy that has been here on the plane throughout the test of time. We know what else has been going on throughout the test of time in the church and things like that. So, of course, they wouldn't want to make the women seem like they don't belong and then also what? keep them out of positions in the church because they don't want them to speak because when they do speak and they're in their high priestess energy and they know thyself and they know source, they're going to speak the truth. But they need that masculine energy to break the teeth of those that come up against them. Unfortunately, there's a lot of masculine energy in, re in the religious factor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that feel like they will never bow down to a woman. Or the masculine energy of Yeshua, which may look like them or may not. And people say all this stuff about dark skin, dark skin, dark skin. Well, honey, most so-called African-Americans have a nice red or copper or brown or golden tone. Because that's where we are as humanity or, again, within this nation because of the things that we've bear or bore um, throughout the years, right? Most people that you see of darker skin tones are more immigrant energies from Africa, from Haiti. There's nothing wrong with this. We're just talking about what we're talking about here. 
because so many people tried to use my features or my skin tone to uh, exclude me from being American or an origine because their skin is darker. Which makes no sense, but again. And I told you guys, remember the swarthy Germans and these other entities, right? Hmm. Hitler energy. Even though, you know, I have my something about Hitler, right? And he knew that the Jews were here or the precious jewels, right? But I did notice that Merkel and Germany... Um, I don't know, they were giving her her flowers um, or whatever. I don't know if she's resigning or whatever like this, right? Um, but again, hmm. could their swarthy children be here under the guise of American Aborigines that are seeking out the land and the resources? and accumulating and keeping it secret or sharing it only with some. Mm. So the kings of the earth, which are dark skinned people more than likely, right? And then again, those other kings, right? Um, and the rulers in high places or the powers that shouldn't be because of the works that they do. Not because of their skin tone, because of the works that they do. Because of their corrupted mind and antics and their tools and their tech that they use against the holy ones in order to exalt in their laws or lies to exalt those Right, because we do remember this is no offense against Obama, but he was African. There's still not been a so called black American. Uh, we have many here <laughs> that have been president here. So, when you realize it's bigger than us, and we're talking about the basics, the root, think maybe also there was images of that could be again this is allegedly of him um uh maybe his faith is more muslim than um christian possibly i'm not sure um but again um could that be an anti-christ energy because when they brought up those cages i said hmm it reminds me of a mental cage or a mental slavery <laughs> of some sort. And why it seems like, a, I think it was one of uh, my, uh, the surname, my surname was on one of those lists. Um, I think I shared it here. I think it was a list of people that could get something overturned, maybe like a sentence or something like that, but it was just strange how it was labeled. And it just made me think about, you know, certain families, um, that might be still in cages or mental or, you know, like in some kind of other form, right? Kind of like the star that's in the cage in the, um, when it comes to the hermit card, right? Yeah, here it is. Because this is the description that we were reading here in Job with the straight back and the rod and things like this. But it just made me think about something. What kind of connection and lineage and things like that? Because there's that bright star, that highest star, the highest in the room, the brightest, Aquarian energy, right? The star card trapped in a cage and somebody is quietly peering in on that energy. <laughs> hmm. 
someone is probably, like I said, a master mind, right? Ascended master energy. Someone that can spend a lot of time in probably a dark or a small place and examine something or again... Maybe care for it to a certain extent, but kind of like in an imprisoned energy. So this is basically the kings of the earth working with the rulers of the earth. And it says, listen, while there is time, serve the Lord, right, with reverent fear rejoicing with trembling fall down before his son and kiss his feet his son descendant it means descendant it could be a female as well it could be a female in her masculine energy that might be difficult to some people to deal with when you're trying to be on some bull that will not suffer a loss in the heartbreak hotel because I know my worth. Fall down before his son and kiss his feet. And you know what I mean? What I, um, if you've been on the channel, what I feel we are talking about. <laughs> before his anger is aroused and you perish. I am warning you, his wrath will soon begin. But oh, the joys of those who put their trust in him. And I do think we're talking about a masculine energy here. The only thing is, it's like I'm wondering what the problem is because it's almost like I've had myself like open, right? But there's never any kind of response. It's like communication is there, but there's no response. So it makes me think something happened or someone is not there or someone is bait when it comes to me. Because it would be a joyful experience for other feminine energies. But for me, it might be the end. But I do have trust in the energy. but Or the entity or the individual, right? But again, which one? A Psalm of David when he fled from his son Absalom. Oh Lord, in all caps now, all right? So many are against me. So many seek to harm me. Now this makes me think about the divine masculine feminine twin flame energy because I feel like whatever I'm feeling, he is feeling. Which is the only thing that makes me really watch myself when I deliver my messages. Because I want to trust. But I know that I'm not just anybody. And I know that these people are up to something. And I know that, again, <laughs> People can fold. I feel like the masculines, both of them have folded. But I have not.
I know that when I walk to wherever I am to be going to that destiny or, or whatever, I don't know how I might get there, but I'm just saying <clears throat> that it's not like do or die, but more so much as, because I know the I feel like when it comes to that actual energy, I I feel like it's like me. So to kill your to kill me would be to kill yourself. I have so many enemies. It reminds me of that song, It's Yours. Queen of Wands energy. And again, many don't give, right? But in a Knight of Wands energy, look at that. He's on the horse, but now he's looking. He's seeking. Because I feel like the energy has been shifted or there's a disconnect there. There's a disconnect there. Because these, these individuals, I feel what it was talking about in Joel, right? Is that they were made a certain way. They were made kind of for each other and made a certain way. Like a match made in heaven. And it's almost like the energy of like, Um, I don't, I can't remember what the lyrics are. It's like something about like, um, mm, what is it? Basically like a, I don't know, like something about, what was it? Yeah, they don't even, they don't give you, they don't really give you a choice when it's yours. So it's almost like energy as to, you know, someone can't like sit still or be in one place because people are on some shit like that. And it's because of the connection with the divine masculine and feminine. My soulmate is out there waiting for me somewhere. Shay seeking what? Her other half, possibly? But the Empress, right, is having to deal with all of these queens. Queen energy. Even possibly the Queen of Wands. Friend or foe. Because could she be, the Empress be that? The Empress is going to embody all of them. So even we're talking four. Again, the river was split into four. But the Empress is sitting on high. Cup are overflowing, right? With all of the gifts in the whole entire deck. Even the High Priestess. Queen of Cups, she embodies them all. We have the Lover's card because we're talking about that twin flame energy and we have Justice. This, this, this is supposed to heal the earth. This is supposed to be something that he that's healing, right? Again, Queen of Pentacles. 
But this emperor is sitting, well, this energy is sitting here with that held very close to his heart, right? But, and he has these two pinnacles at his feet. So are these the two energies, right? But then he has one on his head too, though. So I don't know. <laughs> that could be another feminine energy here. You see, like almost with the strength card, like that energy is a hovering energy. But this is his counterpart. This one don't want to let go. These two are already, right? Because we're talking matters of the heart here. Real, true connection, a real, true love, at least on my side. I don't know what has happened. Can mind control or manipulation change that? Could it? I don't know. Possibly. And she has to put her heart on ice or, again, to the side. Again, the masculine energy can also be embodying the empress energy. We were talking about the, the heart turning to ice or cold. Same thing with the lyrics. Hmm. So again, the juggling energy that was to that energy right here, juggling. This is what I'm saying about that card, y'all. That I feel like, again, when this whole started, like there was something to do with the god running forces until they pulled out of Afghanistan, the Middle East or Midwest, Chirac, right? I think that, again, the energy was connected to the heavens on this plane. So the juggling and the breadcrumbing and the love bombing led to this. So they want to pierce it so much so that there's no love left or, again, there's no cares left. But I am a warrior at heart. Without having to do that much travel or anything. Truthers, woke, people, people that see, people that want the truth. My sheep hear my voice. And some of the energy is mirrored. But again, I feel bad because this is the energy here. This is what they want to do to the divine masculine. that I'll die for it. Again, this is how they want me just sitting here with this hat on, this special hat with one pinnacle, right? But they don't know that this pinnacle is a gift from God. This is directly, <laughs> look, this is directly handed. Nobody can take it away. Nobody can take the place. All they can do is act <laughs> as though they've conquered the world with the red hat and the red cape, but he's dressed in the sand of the sea. So again, again, games being played, possibly even leaving the Empress with nothing, right? But playing around, using antics, strong arming, and again, right? This red hat, again, this turban to try to give this one little pentacle. Because we know that people, again, when it comes to religious aspect, religions are powerful, they're strong. But they're also naive and they lack knowledge. And Satan is also going to deceive the whole entire world
Be careful what you ask for. There was rumored in the so-called conspiracy community that Sharia law was coming to the Americas. People from that place in America were saying that that's what they're trying to do. Moab and all of that energy all up in here, up and through Jerusalem. Caledonia. Wisconsin. So many against me. So many seek to harm me. I have so many enemies. Got a lot of enemies, right? And drain me of my energy. Hmm. So many say that God will never help me. But Lord, you are my shield, my glory, my only hope. You alone can lift my head, now bowed in shame. And I think that this is talking about the masculine energy speaking to the Lord Des and the Lord Des speaking back to the divine masculine equally. And again, with that magician energy together, they are a force to be reckoned with, whether they are together or apart, but more than likely together. And this is why they want to throw obstacles and other false entities in the mix. Masculine and feminine. Masculines, they try to pile them up in their energy over here, and I don't even see them. I only see him. They can say what they want, but they'll never change my view. <laughs> they'll never know you the way that I know you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And if they can't understand our love, even our friends and our families turned against us. Another song, even though they're the same ones that hooked us up. And now they mad. my glory and my only hope. This is why this energy is holding on. Yeah. While Sneaky Pete and them is just trying to see what they can get from the land and make sure that they straight. I think this has something to do with that pinnacle. Is it the Four of Pentacles? Excuse me. But you got this, 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 this one. You got. I don't trust this queen. I don't know. And again, it all, it keep coming. Look what I say. It keep coming out with the moon card. Hmm. Hmm. 
And actually, they look just alike. We're going to keep on looking at the shit until you see it. You see, she got this shell, the Venus energy, but it's not on her. It's on the back of the chair, just like the bookshelves in the White House. Because <laughs> the real capital, the main capital, <laughs> The insurrection, invasion of privacy. And the sun, the queen of cups, the moon and the sun. <laughs> yeah, so I can see things. I don't see all possibly, right? <laughs> But again, I know who the sun is. The community, so-called uh, American Indian, so-called indigenous community knows who the moon is. This makes me think about the J. They know who J is. <laughs> or again, maybe they can unpack that. Want to be energy. We didn't show you the double rainbow over here, right above me. So, I mean, I'm just saying <laughs> the world card being sealed off and observed and energy transfer or a leak. The breath of God energy. I mean, we just see it. It's all here. Okay. Again, what we use in our breath to expose sneaky Pete. Mm-hmm. So again, you're of the the devil in his seed. <laughs> if you were of Abraham's seed, you would do see. <laughs> okay, see. So again, this is the illusions, right? Especially for me, damn near. Just really, if I wasn't strong-minded, I mean, I would not even be here to be making sense to you. And I probably don't make sense to you today. But again, somebody gonna take something away, <laughs> right? Illusions. Illusions, overloads of illusions. They knew that I was going through some type of ascension or transformation. They thought that these things were important to me. Or again, your desire, right? Love, to love people, right? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think, yeah. I think the J, I don't know why it was making me think about the gray energy here. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's that energy. That's the build of being. That's the build of being. And do I think there's familial ties? I think so. Whether we know it or not, I see them because I can see the features. I can see. <laughs> now she looks more like my sister. Um which is actually lighter than both of us, but she looks more like my sister, but there's something up. Source don't, when I see something like that, it is what it is, right? Yeah. So instead of the river flowing, right? But then also I'm wondering, you know, we say, I say this is denial because motherfuckers is in denial. But again, um, also I'm wondering if this represents the Jordan River, possibly. Because, you know, it was reduced or, you know, broken up. So, hmm. So, again, I don't know why I'm seeing this energy. Maybe this means that, again, something is going to have to happen. Like somebody's going to have to be carried away, right? And then this looks like a shield here, right? So, maybe this is the energy like that, right? And, again, here's that king of pentacles holding on tight. And it's funny that it's right on his heart, okay? So many say that God will never help me, possibly because of the things that, you know, we had to shine a light on because maybe God running forces and other forces, right? Again, <clears throat> that wouldn't forgive because they just don't want to make things right. 
Um, but to think that there's no forgiveness there, but they don't know about us. They don't want us as a whole, as the world being healed. They know nothing of these prophecies. They will not know because they are not built to know. They don't carry that which is within us that are the chosen or elect or the sons of God, not of man, but of God. That are going to have an organic sense of knowings that are going to have to have dreams and visions and all of these things in these times. Right? You think that I'm an ignorant savage. But what was she telling him? So many says that God will never help me. But Lord, you are my shield, right? So again, this makes me think almost of um, the other um, masculine energy though. You are my shield, my glory, and my only hope. You alone can lift my head now bowed in shame. So I think somebody wanted, like, I'm, I'm not even lying. The energy, you know what I'm saying? After I think I put something together about what I was seeing, about this whole third party love triangle interference of man with something of nature, right? Again, it's, it's all still up in the air for me, right? I just know that there is one, okay? <clears throat> there's two, but there's one. Right. So I feel like somebody wanted this energy to be here with me, bowed in shame. Right. Right. But I feel like, again, this is the energy that the masculines have been giving to me. But if I am them, you see? And it's almost like that energy of the confusion comes from you can't have two so-called gods, right? And I'll have to check and see if that's what all caps, capital G, or just little g, right? You'll hate one and love the other. But because I am, I feel a loving energy, I get that from, again, lineage, right? That, again, maybe they think that that can't be true. But, again, at some point in time, it doesn't matter. Love is just love, right? And, again, at some point in time, like I said, the energy transformed to, again, somebody is more of a... And, again, I can't sense any more directly, right? But because of this kind of makeup, somebody is more of a father figure and someone is more of a lover energy, Right? But I feel like I'm not in this energy. Do I feel like the people that wronged me, right? Or even if I had to even question your intentions are like this? Yes, right? And again, meantime, I'm feeling like this is this should be a masculine energy here. And I feel like maybe it's changed, like I said, in the spiritual realm, right? But all this time, this is how I felt I was. Sitting here by myself with this damn thing, trying to keep whatever it was back. Why well, I feel like the world wanted me to think that the masculine is off, you know, giving, right? His cups. Wow. Giving his cups to other entities, right?
Maybe somebody's shameful because I see what they've been doing. I'm not shameful. I've been trying to do things right. Even things that don't feel right. Like those luring energies that, again, pull on my energy, right? Even then, like even sometimes, most of the time in the evening times, right? Sometimes in the daytime, but more in the evening time. I cried out to the Lord and he heard me, or she, right? From the temple <clears throat> in Jerusalem. But again, I feel like this is a mirroring energy. I feel like the same way I'm crying out, crying out for you. Like, like that's just the energy, like, cause it's like friends and family, like even immediate family, you know what I'm saying? Mother and father, husband and wife just can't take the light and just hate. Then I lay down and slept in peace and woke up safely. For the Lord was watching over me. And now, although 10,000 enemies surround me on every side, I am not afraid. I will cry to him. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. And he will slap them in the face, insulting them and breaking off their teeth. So again, I don't know what's going on on the masculine's inner, on his side or what's going on there. But I know one thing, somebody going to be walking away from this uh, video in their feelings. A lot of people. For salvation comes from God. What joys he or she gives to his people. Power of attraction. A masculine and feminine energy here. 13. Which also equals to four. And four has been very prominent. Follow your own rhythm. <laughs> Again, rhythm got something to do with soul. And if you a soul baby, right? Because we're only trying to be an inspiration to change the world for the better. And we're fighting against powers that shouldn't be in principalities and rulers in dark places. Free from judgment and free to love. We also have the villain card here. I was wondering why this has been looking at me all day, right? You can always rewrite the story. And that's exactly what we're doing. Protest. Start a revolution. She got a hijab on. Scarf. Bonnet. <laughs> Or is that a wig? Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? The road to rede redemption. You know what this reminds me of? Because the other day I was just thinking about this when it comes to that movie by Jordan Peele. Um, what was it? Us or whatever. <laughs> I was just looking in the... I was walking into the living room and I was looking at the television. It was off and I saw my shadow. And I said, oh, that kind of freaked me out a little bit because the shadow looked like a, a little old lady. Like, and I was like, I'm standing like this, standing straight and every standing tall. And the, I don't know, it just freaked me out a little bit to see it like that. Because, you know, sometimes you just see, you know, like, I don't know if some of you have ever even looked at your shadow and noticed that. It kind of don't look like you. You know what I'm saying? It just made me, I was just talking to my daughter and we were like looking. Um, but again. Hmm. 
be the hunter, not the hunted. These are the same cards. Well, that's the same card that we pulled, okay? Because we're going beyond the normal. This is the light bulb moment. <laughs> like, for me. Doesn't have to be for you. Right, okay. So again, this makes me think about a strong energy here though too. A night energy here too, right? Someone who was made to protect and serve, right? Okay. Or given strength or gifts by source in order to be able to do so. For salvation comes from God, what joys he or she gives to all his people. Oh God, you, this is in all caps, have declared me perfect in your eyes. You have always cared for me in my distress. Now hear me as I call again. Have mercy on me. Hear my prayer. The Lord God asks, sons of men, will you forever turn my glory into shame by worshiping these silly idols? Do you hear what I'm saying? Sons of men, the waters, hard neck, stiff neck, hard hearted energy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is me always caring for my masculines. I've found out again recently that some of them weren't who I thought they were. And maybe that's why I never gave them the energy. And maybe that's why they feel some kind of way. Now, we also can have deities that might be kind of some kind of way about their daughters, right? We're, we're, in, a, we're in a time when people, again, will put money over matters of the heart um, sometimes, right? And so, again, when we're dealing with that energy, you know, there may be some masculine energies or some fathers or uh, teach uh, uh, or parents Honor your earthly masters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who are the earthly masters? The Hebrew children. Mm -hmm. The original ones. The natural ones. The autochthonous ones. The meek ones that will inherit the earth ones but they're giving your gift of glory over to foreign energies right before your eyes. <laughs> and it's something that you can do about it. Like enough is enough. They've already captured your Messiah, <laughs> right? Possibly sending in attacks that could have caused brain damage. If God or source or Elohim or Adonai, right? When, I, when I'm looking for my daddy, I look for Adonai. Elohim is the gods. Because there's going to be a mixture over time. And I don't doubt or say that I'm not connected to anything or anyone. I know it's like a funnel effect. But it started with the autochthonous people. Okay? The red men to a certain extent. So they've already done this, again, spiritually. And through technology, this is what they've done to the empress or again, my energy. Possibly the masculines too. I don't know the whole thing. I just know in that time, he was with me. Through a connection. I could not figure out if it was governing forces using their tools that they left behind in Afghanistan that now people that look like you, sneaky Pete, that want your land and want to do this to the empress. To the Messiah and the Father or the Lord and the Messiah, the actual ones. 
Divine masculine, divine feminine. This is what they want to do. Their foolishness. But I see you. See? Hold on. My skinny little legs. I am that I that can see you. So they have as above, so below. They might have an I above. I'm the one below. But I'm the one. I am one of them. Right? Yeah. This is the energy here. This is the energy here. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm hmm. The Lord God. Now, we put Lord God together. <laughs> the Lord God asks. Right? So this could be the Lord and God together, like Yeshua, Christ together, Christ, Jesus together, right? Sons of men. <laughs> the moon, Muslim energy. But I'm pretty sure they have lots of documents, right? But we're the spiritual group, right? Maybe even descend from both, right? There's one sector and another. I can't help if you don't believe me. Or you can't see me. Mm -hmm. Right? So, yeah. Again. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out if y'all can unpack that. We've been unchaining things for a very long time, but we've only been unpacking things for about three or four years. What does this have to do with this? And this queen of wands or sword energy. Hmm. All because of this. Without the swords. That's what I see it as. But again, that doesn't mean that the other counterpart sees it that way. People have the free will to do what they want on their journey. I'm tired of, again, professing what I feel and what I see and only getting in nothing like tangible um, in return. But again, here it is right here. You have declared me perfect, perfect in your eyes. You have always cared for me in my distress. Now hear me and I call again. Yeah. Sons of men, will you forever turn my glory into shame by worshiping these silly idols when every claim that's made for them is false? By who? Right? In whose eyes? <laughs> Again, our whole thing was breaking down the fact that in this worldly realm, the heavens is just elevated statuses in society. <laughs> the hell is the mental chains and restraints, <laughs> systematic things that have been put in place on the so-called black people, the American Aborigines, autochthonous, original people of this land. Under the guise of so-called black or misnomers like black and African-American. To lump you up into the group with everybody else so we could not be able to see that it was people that looked almost like you and me. That is part of the reason of who we be today. So it's, it's not that. The black caucus. Again, black, dead, caucus, carcass, dead. Publicity stunts is the only thing that they step out of the arena for. They never step up for you, really, in any other sense. 
it's really foolish and embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, worshiping these silly idols. I mean, I'm just saying these, especially again, some of these energies that are actually sitting there and monitoring some of the elect or chosen's information, pages, their mind, whatever it would be, okay, in order to see what they're thinking, right, and then go right behind them and do it, or go right behind them and try to talk about something real fast so that you cannot really realize that it's the person that's smiling in your face really over there that's been exalted above many, um, that is actually the one that is possibly, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's just like that. <laughs> but again, that's what happens when you follow the leader, okay? That is not the right. And again, not to say nobody got to follow me or nobody else, but I'm just saying, we, y'all know, okay? There's a sense of something. There's a sense of something. So again, a whole movement. The Antichrist is a whole movement. Again, protecting treasure. Right? Home. Ride the wave. We might as well. Shit. And the bone collector. See, these are the people collecting all your all the information and everything, just waiting for y'all to die off or forget or move on. You know what I'm saying? So they can get their grubby hands on all of your marble and all of your um, other resources. I mean, you would think that, you know, some of these people went to school for some of this shit. You know, I'd be wondering, like, it was something about, like, something came to me about, like, bar exams or something like that. People that work in those type of industries and, and things like that. That might be, you know, when it comes to education, right? That might be, you know, yeah, really good and really crafty with documents doctored pieces of paper we already know how that goes okay so a wizard of awareness there's somebody that's a wizard of awareness maybe this is again the divine masculine because again when it comes to awareness sometimes it's I, i'm not really aware of things unless it's danger like my my energy is like of that pentagon energy which again a pentagon reminds me of the shields or the hats that the pharaohs wore sekhmet wore she was a protector. It's got to do with the temple or your dome. Same domes that are on the Capitol buildings all over the land. But the one in Washington, it would be considered the highest in the room. <laughs> it didn't choose to be. It just is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. All right. Mark this well. The Lord has set apart the redeemed for himself. Therefore, he will listen to me and answer. He or she, okay, will listen to me and answer when I call to him. Stand before the Lord in awe. Again, this is the kind of energy, like I said, it's got me in this energy of who should I even offer my time to? Who should I take energy from who should be able to be you see what i'm saying because it's like this is the trick all the time it's almost like again there has been a trickster masculine energy that has been intertwined somewhere in here to make it so i'm jaded or i can't really you know what i'm saying see which energy it is right right so that's what has made it so hard to even walk or go towards or be open to go towards because there's been a lot of games that have been played Therefore, he will listen to me and answer me when I call him. Stand before the Lord in awe. 
and do not sin against him. Lie quietly upon your bed in silent meditation. Put your trust in the Lord and offer him pleasing sacrifices. Now we talked about the four shields or the four coat of arms. We talked about the one that would be closest to me that would be who I'm separated from in a thing right today. Okay. So, and then that is the cross. That's his coat of arm has a cross. So again, this energy died on the cross. So again, who do you run to? Who can you trust? Because things have changed. Energies have changed. People know that. And still, at times when I can see it change, nobody was here to help. So. Spiritual attacks or tech attacks. Mm. is how I look at it. The other one was the leopard energy. You know, there's other ones there, okay? It just so happens that two names of two entities or energies are almost the same. <laughs> that is funny because then, and also that's my grandbaby's name, but it's just half of a name, you know, like bow man, right? So if you take the bow and the man, Theirs will be Bowman, but the 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 father is Bow. These are fake names, but I'm just trying to tell you how how funny it is. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but we see what this sounds like. <laughs> Lie quietly upon your bed in silent meditation and put your trust in the Lord and offer him pleasing sacrifices. Many say that God will never help us prove them wrong. Oh Lord, by letting the light of your face shine down upon us, yes, the gladness you have given me is far greater than their joys at harvest time. As they gaze at their bountiful crops, I will lie down in peace and sleep. For thou, I am alone. O Lord, you will keep me safe. Right? So again, I don't know about all this right here. I will lie down in peace and sleep. Right, because this has something to do with that Esther and Elijah thing when she he told her to lay down on that rock. But then it makes me think about like this. Again, I'm just saying, I just got to say both parts. It makes me think about this energy that I seen because again, there's not going to be nobody else like me in the world, right? Not to say it like that, but I'm just saying, just like everybody is authentic and everybody is different, right? Everybody has gifts that are stronger here, there, whatever, whatever. So again, for me doing this job that I was chosen and ordained to do, I mean, an anointed to do, that of course, then I'm going to see stuff a little bit differently and seeing what the world is going to do to me to try to stop or block it, right, is going to be what is going to hinder or whatnot, right, where I'm going to have to pick up that slack from somewhere else. It's almost like being chopped up into the pieces and thrown into the River Nile, okay, which again, makes me think about the Empress card again. And having to go out and find those pieces because somebody has fragmented my mind. And it's funny how I was able to find a couple of those into a, a couple of those other energies. Through other soul siblings, uh, feminine energies, um, possibly masculine as well. Um, within the gifted community. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So again, you know, like I said, I don't know why I see this here. I already, I even have it marked, right? You know? Um. Yeah. But again, it's, it's I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to say. <clears throat> about lying down near your bed. Is this a spiritual thing? Is this a, you know, physical thing? Like, like that sense. I don't know exactly what they're trying to say. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if, again, that energy is fragmented. That male energy could be fragmented as well. You see what I'm saying? Um, And because, again, I, when I think about the masculine, I saw pieces of that energy in my prior spouse okay um and both of those energies so it's like you know what i'm saying all i can do is just nothing i'm just preserving myself because it's confusion and again i feel like my god is not the author of confusion and i feel like what somebody wants to do is kind of like catch somebody up just what i feel like but again, I am taking a commitment to learn and know, but I'm not, you know what I'm saying, going to be playing no fool. I'm not going to be foolish. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I'm not going to be foolish. Because that's all you need, right? Um, we were reading in the text the other day when it said to the woman that was supposedly sleeping with a, a man or whatever or something like that while she was married and they said he said throw the stone if you ain't never did it or whatever and they said but again y'all don't see the back side of the story again i've dreamt or had this type of awareness or this kind of connection where i get shown visions about this stuff the pg-13 or rated r version energy right Yeah. So, again, anybody trying to act like that, oh, this person is being um, difficult or whatever, they just don't know the situation. So, again, unexpected visitors, right? If anything, I've been made to feel like I'm some kind of dis-ease because, again, even, like I said, people that I know, source, tell me that was sent to help or to at least point me in the right direction, they don't, right? Right? You're saying focus on success. You know, either they usually end up leaving with something of mine, possibly, right? Strengthen your gifts, okay? Again, this is a universal, general message, right? If it resonated, resonate. I ain't up for a debate. <laughs> Retreat. <laughs> this is what I've been asking for, actually. Because I'm just like done. But then again, we got to say no. Whew. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying about the energy, y'all. I know that something is going to, some type of movement, something is going to be happening. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Or it already has happened, right? Because again, this is past, present, and future the way I'm seeing. So again, it's up to you. If you're seeing stuff like this in your life, then maybe it's now, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, right? So I'm seeing it through those different layers, right? As an energy that is connected or channeling an energy, right? Or connected to an energy, possibly to lineage, that has been that wisdom energy on this plane. So dealing with the Akashic is going to be different for me. Having faith in knowing this, that Gnostic energy is... That's just what it is. It's so it, it's like comp, it's like a confident energy, right? Not cocky, okay? Okay, so again, um, it says, Oh Lord, hear my prayer, hear my praying, okay? And again, I like to commune with source. I don't like to pray because pray makes you, again, it reminds me of pray, like becoming pray. And we want to be hunters, not hunted. Okay? So again, that's another reason. You see? And why they're saying that right there. Listen to my plea, oh God, my king. 
for I will never pray to anyone but you. So again, I feel like energy, feminine energy for some reason is reaching out to me. I feel like a, a embrace of feminine energy. Some feminine energies are very abrupt and hostile and some are very nurturing and caring and giving right now. Each morning I will look to you in heaven and lay my request before you, uh, praying earnestly, right? So again, I feel like at some point in time during the connection, um, channeling music was very something that every, there was a, a like a music or something that reminded me of the masculine, that every single morning it put a smile on my face because I knew, right? It just was really prominent that the connection was still strong or there and then again it abruptly like was over and so I had to just you know right so that's what makes me maybe that's why the say no energy is here because wait a minute but like the energy is saying I'm still the same way I was when I came to you right but I'm just like I don't know <laughs> so like that's that okay Okay. So it's like like I said, the feminine energy is kind of like don't go, right? But I don't know. But then there's also feminine energy that's like, I know you we did you wrong, but you know what I'm saying? We can make it right, but it's almost like even with dealing with feminine energy now, it's just like, I don't know. Right? And it's almost like that energy, like, you know, don't text it to me, tell me to my face. But then telling me to my face, you know what, again, what, what energy am I dealing with now? And again, it wouldn't be no different. It would be different because I wasn't aware of the any other visit. <laughs> Especially like not in the 3D, like really anything tangible, right? Not that I can recall anyway. All right. So, yeah, okay. But I do feel like, you know, this is something, you know, um, that I have stopped doing recently, you know, that I just noticed by even just reading this. Um, look to you in the heavens and lay my request before you. So again, I really don't do that. You know, it's like almost like I don't want to bother source unless I'm really having a real problem. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that's that, that that's the kind of energy. Okay. But again, maybe that's not, you know, maybe I need to get back into that communing process, right? But again, most of the time during the day, I'm doing this though, right? It may not be first thing in the morning. So again, it makes me wonder what is the energy of the first thing in the morning compared to midday, noon, afternoon, you know what I'm saying? Like that, because I because for the rest of the day, that's what I'm doing. I'm just in tune. I'm just getting, you know what I'm saying? I'm communing with source. I know you get no pleasure from wickedness and cannot tolerate the slightest sin, right? So again, therefore proud sinners will not, so again, it's saying proud sinners, right? Will not survive your searching gaze. So again, this energy, right? Proud sinners, not just sinners, but proud sinners, okay? And again, the searching gaze is the seeking energy, right? But also we have someone seeking to see who they can devour, right? And we have someone that's seeking the truth, right? Hmm. Somebody's unpacking shit, possibly somebody else's luggage, right? And then somebody is, again, unchaining it. <laughs> Breaking the chains from that so-called devil energy. And so whoever is that energy is going to be Hmm. But people see dollar signs and big things when they see some of the things that these people are presenting to them. 
not really realizing that in order to do that and go across the land and do that, you're actually still taking something from somebody because again, those lands were given to those people with patents of people that went to war against the people that was here prior to them to take the land that belonged to them that the land already had belonged to our ancestors. So who are you talking to? What are you talking about? <laughs> but they want to tease the spiritual portion of the children, right? Proud sinners. People proudly just saying something in front of your face. And this is what I pointed out when it comes to your president. This is what I pointed out when it comes to some of these build of beings that's in your, these plants. Mm -hmm. The plants from Genesis, the plants that have been planted into the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That are proudly saying it right in front of your face. But you're not realizing, see, because you see a pretty smile, you see a pretty this, you know, you probably see one here too, right? Okay, so I'm saying, you're seeing that and you're just like, so don't let mine fool you either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's Again, it's, it's, it's up for you to discern. I'm never here to tell you what it is or what it ain't. I'm simply sharing what it looks like to me. All right? So, again, for their evil deeds, what they've been doing, what they've been doing with trust, what they've been doing with deeds. Why is the crime rate in places like Georgia? I mean, I ain't saying Georgia probably ain't got no hoods or whatever, but I ain't, ain't no, like no Chicago or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, what's really going on in these places? Why are people so worried about certain things when it comes to people's finances? Nobody, they're not talking about nothing else or whatever, but they just want to talk about that part. Yeah, so you think you're bringing up a point, but reverse psychology, really, you're trying to deflect the energy from what? The son of man. By, by, by down talking and spying on and observing what's going on in even in personal private places possibly with the son of God so, so y'all think that y'all can just defile you have your mechanism and your tools where you can see and peer in on people's right and again I have mine built in that I can see that I can see even with all the things that they've done. The threats that I've had to live through. The crying nights of my masculine energies. And also the people. That I see the filthy things that you guys do. But in order for me to even be able to continue with my message. I can't even speak the things. So I have to kind of like shed the light through these bars. Oh, oh, because your own people will be ready to rip your head off too. Because why? Why? Because they didn't get it. Because it's not them. Because it's not a man. Because they're not light-skinned enough. They're not dark-skinned enough. They're not godly enough. They're not this enough. They're not rich enough. They're not skinny enough. They're not proper enough. They're not politically correct enough. Like, does it matter if somebody is trying to give you something that is going to, like, like, I don't know. That's how I look at it. I look at this as a world of ridiculousness, actually. Pure and utter ridiculousness. Therefore, proud sinners will not survive your searching gaze. For how 